this movie is really a modern take on Beauty and the Beast, but I have to know what drew you guys to the role? Um, I heard about Beastly and um, sat down with the director and he had such a clear vision over what he wanted and just the character. Lindy's yeah. unlike a, any of the characters I've played before and I really thought that the message was a really beautiful thing. You know, it's a timeless tale that just, it's always good to retell, you know, especially for this teen audience who is so driven off of the way that people look. So hopefully this will help them look past it. I just thought it was great to do a modern day Beauty and the Beast. Beautiful people get it better. That's just the way it is. You have a year to find someone to love you. Or stay like this forever. No. What you do when you're stuck. Pretty gruesome, huh? I've seen worse. Lindy is the girl who um, kind of thinks that it's easier to go through life under the radar. Um, and I feel like a lot of girls can fall into that mode and become afraid of like truly embodying who they are. And yeah. through love, she kind of finds herself and helps him find himself as well. What was the biggest lesson that you guys learned while filming this movie that you'll take with you to future projects? I think one really big thing that I learned from this was to be able to keep an open mind and just kind of see where the flow took me um, because I, I remember I would just walk around and stumble onto the most amazing things in Montreal and it was just like I think being open to all of it um, and, and not having a closed mind that made it so much fun. Yeah, absolutely. Teamwork. Teamwork. That's a good one. That's a good mm -hmm. lesson for everybody always to know. This rocks. Well, there's a really cute scene where you guys are reading this poem, Having a Coke With You by Frank O'Hara. So I'm curious, what's your guys' favorite poem? Oh, goodness. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not much into poetry, even though you think I would be. Okay. What about you? I love Charles Bukowski. Oh, wow. And his poet, poetry. But I love his this book's more. Okay, well, in the spirit of poetry, I want you guys to fill in the blank for me. Roses are red, violets are blue. Chivalry is dead, but you're still kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who sings that song. I can't tell my mind off you. Oh, that was uh, Timberland. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what I think. <laughs> I like it. And you? Oh, God, mine will be crude. Take me on a date and I'll... you. Oh, that was <laughs> true. And um, what's the most beastly thing that someone could do that would be a total deal breaker for you guys? Honestly, I think as long as people are true to themselves, I couldn't ask for anything more. You know, I think that you have to stay true to yourself and do what you want because that's who you truly are. If you're not doing that, then I don't think you're on the right path. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's our modern take on Beauty and the Beast, except edgier and a bit darker and kind of sexier. It's a beautiful love story and it leaves you with a really great message. Awesome. Ditto. <laughs>